Hello, welcome to the video how to enable DKIM settings in Salesforce. Before to start, what is DKIM? Well, let's see this scenario. Let's suppose you have two parties, A and B. A sends an email to B. During this process, there might be hackers or spammers that try to capture your email. They can copy the information or modify the email content. So this may cause that B receives a completely different email than the one sent originally. In order to prevent this, we can use DKIM. DKIM uses two signatures or keys. The first one is private key, which is created in the SMTP server. The second is the public key, which is published in the DNS domain. So now, when A sends another email, the private key will be encrypted in the email. And DKM will try to compare this private key with the one that is stored in the DNS domain. If the private and the public key matches, DKM will allow to send the emails to B. So this will ensure that B will get the original email. Now that we know what is DKM, let's review some considerations in Salesforce. New DKM keys default to the inactive state. You can have only one active DKM key per domain name. You can have multiple active DKIM keys if your company sends mail from multiple domains or you use subdomains under your organizational domain and a specified domain matching at the subdomain level. We cannot have two keys with the same selector value for the same domain. The new DKIM keys should be created with a unique selectors. The activate button of the DKIM keys of Salesforce will remain disabled unless Salesforce recognizes that the correct CNAME records has been published on the DNS. So now, let's go ahead and configure DKIMs in Salesforce. Login into your org as administrator. Click on the gear icon and go to setup. In the quick find bots type DKIM keys. Click on create new key button. Select the corresponding key size. 1024 bit is enough for this test. For selector, enter a unique name. For alternate selector, enter also a unique name. The alternate selector allows Salesforce to auto rotate your keys. For domain, enters your company email's domain for which this DKIM key applies. For domain match, I'm going to select exact domain only. Now click on save. You'll see this message. Salesforce has published the TXT record for this DKIM key to DNS. It can take time for DNS publications to finish. Finally, you need to provide these two records to your network team so they can create two CNAME type records using the first portion for the name and the second portion for the value. Once the CNAME records are created, you can come back to this page and the activate button will be enabled. And going forward, all your admin emails from Salesforce will be encrypted with the private key. This concludes the video how to enable the chem settings in Salesforce. Thank you for watching.